Well, this is a very interesting topic in relation to the diagnosis of multiple sclerosis. Usually, uh, uh, the symptom um, which could be a beginning of, of the uh, of the multiple sclerosis. However, clinically isolated syndrome is not MS yet, of course, right? That must be fulfilled all criteria which were described in 2017. Uh, yeah, and all these criteria changed over the time. And clinically isolated syndrome, as it, uh, the name, is the the syndrome right? It could be uh, it could be like, like uh, optic neuritis. It could be the the problem of walking, uh, the problem of balance, right? And of course, uh, uh, that uh, um, could be associated with another autoimmune disease. Uh, which is a multiple sclerosis. And it could be just a monosymptomatic, uh, just one, uh, one um, uh, syndrome, or uh, uh, could be more, more signs right, together, right? And also, in such case, we do MRI, we uh, do cerebrospinal fluid examination. And if uh, we are fulfilled criteria, of dissemination time and dissemination in space uh, in, uh, in MRI and uh, the presence of oligoclonal beds, for instance, uh, in the cerebrospinal fluid. Uh, and if these criteria are fulfilled, then we can recognize multiple sclerosis. So there is a very sensitive uh, way to diagnosed multiple sclerosis, but I'm in favor of this because uh, there was all uh, before, you know, discussion to treat uh, clinically isolated syndrome or weight, and I'm in favor of uh, starting uh, the treatment uh, as soon as possible. And this sensitive criteria now uh, uh, um, help us to, uh, uh, to uh, start the treatment as as soon as possible because that helps and you know now we have more uh, more experience now that uh, if we start early in the treatment then we achieve uh, better uh, results because the, we 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 stop uh, uh, the disease and, and our goal in multiple sclerosis is to uh, to have no MRI activity, no clinical activity, right? Then the patient is in a very good uh, condition and can work because many patients with multiple sclerosis don't work. And you know how important it is to be active, right? So it is a social problem, not only health problem.